This is the new coaster range from Vintage Guitars. This is the Vintage V60 coaster. I mean, it looks great, but it sounds great too. These pickups from Alan Entwistle, sorry, they're designed by Alan Entwistle. So these are the Entwistle X1 pickups. I thought they'd all be the same, but they're not. Um, this is 5.5K ohms, 5.6K ohms, and in the bridge, 7.3K is it? 7.2K, so it's hotter in the bridge, which is how I like strap pickups to be. The ceramic, I love a ceramic pickup. Now, ceramic pickups have a bad name because what generally happens is ceramic magnets are powerful and people put hardly any copper on because copper's expensive and then put a massive magnet on to compensate for it and they sound terrible. These have enough copper on and a ceramic magnet so they don't sound terrible. <laughs> In fact, I think they sound amazing. The electronics, it's got a volume for your volume, it's got a tone for the neck, tone for the bridge, five-way switch, so everything you'd expect on a Stratocaster style guitar. These are 180 pounds, which is cheaper than a Fender or Squire Affinity Stratocaster. And I've got to be honest, the pickups definitely sound better and the neck's better. I mean, it's sort of all round better, to be honest. It's got a three-ply scratch plate. I know that's not going to interest most people. It just looks better. This tiny little pinstripe just looks more interesting. Also, the fact this isn't like glowing white. This is, I don't know, mint green or off-white, age white, just looks so much better. The neck, now this, this is real rosewood and it's also a really nice piece of rosewood. I've also tried the V20 and that's a really nice bit of rosewood too. If you get a Squire Stratocaster, um, most of the time it comes with laurel. I don't mind laurel, I think it looks better than Palfero, but it's nice to see proper rosewood on a guitar. 22 frets, love 22 frets. I think it just looks better. I don't really do much up here, but if you bend it, you can get to the double octave, which is nice. It does look better. Oh, this neck does feel fantastic. It's satin on the back, so the headstock's all glossy, so it looks all pretty from the front. The back's all satin, so you can really, it's just not sticky. It's a really, really nice neck. Now, the guys at Vintage might not like me saying this, but uh, like me and my friend, we make guitars either from scratch or from parts. And this is the kind of guitar that I've bought Fender necks and I actually sent one back the other day because, well, this neck's better than the Fender player neck that I bought for like 250 or 300 quid. You can buy this guitar. Like if you're thinking of building a guitar, buy one of these, keep the neck and probably the pickups. I mean, just buy it in the color you want. They do it in a few colors. So they do it in black, white, sunburst, Laguna blue. Sorry, they do a red as well, but this is candy apple blue. Now I love candy apple red. I don't know if you see my red strat, that's candy apple red. I've got a candy apple red base. Candy apple blue, it's all sparkly. And with this mint green or off-white scratch plate, it just looks so good. I mean, it looked good in the pictures and then it arrived. So, <sighs> What a lovely guitar. One other thing, you may have noticed the back plate's missing. Now I took this off on purpose because I noticed it's got a full size tremolo block. Now normally on a budget guitar, you get the really small block and I don't know if it's better for sustain. I've heard it is, but most forums are just full of people that don't have a clue about what they're talking about. But this, it's nice to see a full size block on a guitar this at this price. But you don't see that. I didn't see that in the Harley Benton or the Fazley. I'm not sure what's in the Squire. Let me go and check. Small block in the Squire. So this has got a full size block. Really impressed by this. Really, really impressed. The body is made out of Polonia. So if I'm being honest, the body's a little bit light for me. Um, but if you're gonna do a proper full length rehearsal or any sort of proper length gig, you know, we're talking hours, you're gonna be really happy that the guitar isn't heavy. I just think these are, I'm really impressed by this. Really, really impressed. I think these are going to sell incredibly well just because they're such a good price, such a nice alternative to your Squire Stratocaster. I think this is a really nice colour too. It's, it's off-white. The pickups sound amazing. I would say to the point where you like, don't bother up, have a proper listen to them. I just... It's really, really good. Sorry, we need to have a proper listen. I got a bit carried away there. Right, this is the neck on clean. And the next position, which is the neck, and the middle, yep, does that. Middle position.
a bit of, bit of drive on the bridge. <laughs> I like that a lot, and the neck. I think the neck makes it, to be honest, because anyone can make a body. It's not hard. I mean, a machine makes a body. It's just a CNC machine, but a neck. That's what makes you fall in love with the guitar. And this is better than the Harley Benton, the Fazley, it's definitely better than the Squire. And those are all more expensive, well, probably the same price or more expensive. So, seriously impressed by that. It would be nice if the body was a little bit heavier, but I mean, I'd rather have a nicer neck, so who cares? Also, the tuners are really good, but it, it's just really good. Let me know what you think, leave a comment. And check out my video on the Telecaster style version. So this is the vintage Coaster V20. Again, Rosewood fretboard, Allen Entwistle pickups. They sound good enough to not need to replace them. And normally in a budget guitar, you have to replace the pickups. And look at them, <laughs> they look so good. Thanks for watching.